this is the original oil flicker that I took out and I'm putting it back in and I'm going to use it in conjunction with the new oil flicker that I added to the crankshaft and uh, this oil flicker will not be sitting the original will not be sitting in the oil but the new oil flicker will distribute enough oil to it and the original will in turn spread the oil throughout the crankcase. Right here I thought I was done with the piece but it was way too long and it just wasn't going to work so you'll see here in a second where I modified it and welded a little L shape on the back of it there. This is the Final outcome with the mounting bracket on the back welded. Um, kind of like a fork shape with two on the outside bent at a different angle than the center piece for a different pattern of dispersion of the oil as well as some holes drilled here. Uh, you'll see, uh, I'll demonstrate how I safely drilled those holes. And that's just for more dispersion of oil in different directions. Uh, this is an OSHA certified technique right here that I'm using. Yeah, I don't recommend using this technique at all. That was a pretty good look at the three holes through each of the sides of the 45 there, a total of six holes. So I've got it all put back together and what I did was I set the, the engine in the position it would be sitting in the boat cart and I put that bolt right there at its lowest position it's not at its lowest position right now but so I did that and then I marked here on the sides that level is where I want the oil to be I don't want the oil hitting that bolt so that would be full then I took a piece of solid copper and made a temporary um, dipstick and I marked the high point full level and low which would leave the oil flicker dry if it went below that level. So the copper wire is my template and I believe I'm going to use this steel bar here as a permanent dipstick. I'll let you know how it comes out. Here is the final dipstick.
is a metal bar. Welded a handle on it. It fits into the fill hole. Kind of like this and then turns and rests right up against that ridge I just showed you. And it's kind of hard to make out here, but these, uh, you can see these two notches right there. That's the, uh, the bottom notch is the low level and the top notch is high level oil. 